Hi guys, this is the haul trailer. It's kind of like the ant trailer. It's a dump, but it also has a belt system on it. So like he was explaining, you know, if you need to take this load out, you can just use that remote in his hand and just drop it and then drive forward as you're dropping it. Pretty cool stuff. You can put equipment in it. You can load it with hay. You can load it with rocks. Pretty much what they're showing here. Put a UTV in it, dirt, you name it. This thing will take it. It's this new live floor stuff that they've been displaying here. It looks like it's in pretty good. Uh, looks like, man, look at the size of that chain. Wow. So it's a live floor dump trailer. Um, it has a conveyor belt system light. We call it live floor. It's also, we call it a three in one tilt deck live floor dump trailer. Okay. Okay. Um, it's chain driven. Um, the floor is steel underneath the belt. Um, it also has cross bars that are 23 inches apart, so the weight is sitting on top of the bars. So the winch is not pulling or pushing, it's carrying. Gotcha. Which saves, you know, a, a lot on your on your motor drive system. So, so um, like, let's say, can you do gravel? Oh, absolutely. Okay, what happens gravel, when gravel gets all in the chains? It'll dump it right here. See, it dumps it right out here. Oh, okay, so yep. it just comes out, so it doesn't it does. matter if nope. it's in there. Nope, it does not. And wow. on the bottom of this, They've left a gap um, so you can maintain it. So you can power wash underneath if anything oh, no gets way. stuck under there. Yeah, that's pretty or, awesome. Yeah, yeah. How does it power? Is it a gas motor? Or, no, no, electric. It's electric, electric wow. motor, yeah. it's, just a, it's just got batteries in there, that's it? It has a battery, but you can plug it in. Okay. So when you plug it into your truck, it charges the battery. Gotcha. Or okay. you plug it in if it's not in use, you can plug How it into 110. How many like, runs can I get with it just on that one battery? They say that if you continuously do it all day long, eight. About eight. So eight hours it, or eight? Like eight, what do you mean? Eight continue? cycles. Oh, eight cycles. Eight okay. cycles. Yeah, I but, you were, like, continue for eight hours. but if it's plugged into your truck, it's going to be continuously charged. Right. So, you're so you can get do more. Yeah. 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 Cool. And if they want to get a hold of you guys, how do they get a hold of you guys? Our website at hollet.com. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. So, there's a vibrator up underneath there. It's uh, 2500 pounds. Check it out, guys. This is the. Uh, check it out, guys. This is the watchdog trailer. And wait till then for two of the magnets. Durahal. This is Durahal trailers. This is their roll off system. As you can see, you can just set all the dumpsters in there. Boom. This is how they latch in, look it. So you're gonna go to a job site, you got, I mean, I don't know how you get all of those off. I don't know how that works if you need some kind of heavy equipment or something, but I don't know. What caught my eye was this trailer right here. I love this trailer. I don't know why this tilt deck. It's just really, really nice. All right guys, Stanley the Dirt Monkey, Renee. How's it going? Durhal, right? Yeah. What do we know about Durahal thing? What do you know about Durahal? Well, I know they popped onto the scene within the last about 18 months and have <laughs> just been going gonzos. I mean, the trucks, the variety that they make is insane. It's incredible. But you've been in manufacturing for 30 plus years. Yeah, absolutely. So that's yeah. It. No, no, it's been really good. Uh, but at the end of the day, the biggest thing for us has always been the big customer support, the big customer satisfaction that we're constantly getting. So really what drives us, what gives us oxygen, is customers telling us, hey, you're doing an awesome job. We love your product. As a dealer, our dealers are coming back and saying, we make money with your trailers. Sweet. We love that. Yeah. And I mean, like just going over the trailers. I mean, I'm like, this is like Candyland for me. Just checking out all these tilt trailers and stuff. I mean, Stanley, even Stan, it's hard to impress Stanley. I'm not going to lie. But dude, you've been in the trailer industry. <laughs> no, dude, you've been to, this is like your fourth trailer show or something yep. and i mean you know trailers you've tested all kinds of trailers mm -hmm. and when we were walking and we walked by this booth caught our eye and we're just like oh what durahal let's check it out and it i don't know it's just good quality stuff you guys and the little innovation that goes into it like we were talking about this dump right here just those extra sides coming out is going to give you more material right? give you more material more volume same money but at the end of the day again the customer can make more money haul more product doesn't need to buy extra extensions because he's got the extra capacity already engineered and built guys it. terry with rice trailers tell us all about rice trailers we are a family-owned business down in missouri and we facilitate uh, utility trailers 
car haulers, equipment trailers, uh, deck overs are here to come. And uh, we're just a uh, small company that's uh, trying to make their, their market look yeah. on, the, on the world. No, they're looking pretty good. And it looks like you got some innovative features. Like I see, like this, this isn't your normal toolbox situation. That's right? actually standard on this model. Oh, really? Everything you see here is standard options for these trailers. Holy cow. What's this trailer car right here? This is a 16K HD equipped trailer. Okay. I'll jump in here and help a little bit. Okay. So what sets sure. us apart just a little bit? So we utilize a lot of robots in our factory. So every ramp built with a robot, every toolbox on the fronts of your trailers, they're all built in robotic welding. So, oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, and along with that, we have uh, another company that we uh, manufacture robotic welding cells ourselves called Rice Automation. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very cool. So, yeah. So you like that? Yeah. Well, why not? You know, it's perfect. So this kind of started the uh this kind of started the, the that, that company, company. Yeah. yeah so we grew it out of that so that's cool yeah i mean i've never heard of you guys man it's the first time i've ever seen it, but this stuff looks amazingly i mean like like just like little details like this you know yeah. to protect it from uh rocks i assume yeah yeah and it keeps you that's i mean that's where your tires are going to be spraying right so, you know i mean you'd rather it come off of that than the than the trailer itself right so oh my god is that heavy duty yeah it's just storage box oh, there cow. you're not gonna it's not watertight or anything but you can take straps right chains, chains yeah whatever you know jack bolts on so you've got u-bolt mounts on that oh that's so, cool yeah so you can replace that so whenever you forget to uh put it back up right <laughs> you can actually replace it now the same thing on all those that jack, jack's all replaceable there oh. and then this entire frame here on these models so uh, this is just a standard six inch channel mainframe, but this is uh, this trailer is about 60% robotically built. Wow. So that's how it comes out of our yeah. factory. Yeah. I mean, that aids you guys in production, quality, all kinds of stuff, right? Exactly, just repeatable. Yeah. You know, we know that these stake pockets here are gonna be in the same spot every time. Right, so right. That's, that's just the joys of having robots. But there's cool. a lot of people that hate them and have this like hidden misconception that they're right. bad and they're gonna take right, people's right. jobs. Take people's job. No. No, you still need humans. Well, I will tell you, whenever we put our robotics, because that's what a lot of people have asked me, they're like, Well, how much did it take to decrease your labor by? And I said, Well, it didn't, because we grew so much from the robots, we had to hire a bunch more people. Right, so, right. Yeah, I mean that's what happened to great. Elon Musk. He yeah. tried to automate. He's like, dude, I got more people now. You yeah, know? yeah. It's just that robots can't do everything. So no, no, they're not going to do everything. But what they do is you you produce so much more, and then in turn you need that much more support. Next right, labor. right. So yeah. Cool. Good stuff. All right. Cool. Um. So if somebody wants to get a hold of you guys, how do they give a website? Yeah, ricetrailers.com. Okay. Cool. Ricetrailers.com, and I'm sure you have a pretty good dealer network too. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got a got a big dealer network all across the uh u.s so yeah all right cool cool thanks for your time man yeah, appreciate, appreciate it. it all right